Hey shooters, Tim O'Connor here with 1791 Gun Leather. Wanted to talk to you a little bit about dry practice. What can we do in dry practice? Well, we can do our uh, presentations, we can do mag changes, we can do dry practice firing drills. There's a lot of stuff we can do dry practice. We can do a lot of this stuff on the range. When we're on the range, it's a little less uh, of a uh, worry about having ammunition around. If you're gonna do this at home though, make sure you don't have the magazines or the ammunition even in the room that you're gonna do your dry practice in. And as you're doing your dry practice, make sure you're pointing in a safe direction. If you have a negligent discharge, you're not gonna be pointing that firearm in a direction that's gonna destroy anything you're not willing to. Uh, so on the range though, we can do things uh, like presentations. The other day we were talking about our presentation drill. We can practice that a lot. We can also do dry practice. Again, practicing that trigger press, racking that slide, feeling that follow through on the trigger reset, and good, good trigger presses. Now another hint for this, if you're gonna do dry practice, I would only do it about five or 10, 15 minutes at the most every day because you tend to kind of lose track of time and get uh, go off into tangents and not uh, benefit as much from dry practice. So. Stick with one dry practice, do presentations for 10 minutes maybe, and uh, then give it up for the day. Maybe the next day come out and you can do some trigger presses for 10 minutes, uh, something like that. But it does a lot to improve your performance without firing a shot. For tips like this and more, visit us at 1791gunleather.com.